Brandon is so nice to meet you. I heard you're on the nice list this year. Am I? You are! That's a surprise. What a nice surprise for Christmas. <laughs> is he on the nice list? I think he might be on the naughty list. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I swear, everywhere I go, I have to, I'm known for something. <laughs> Alrighty, so we had the luxury of going to Winterfest at Canada's Wonderland on its opening night, and boy, did it not disappoint. So in this video, I'm going to give a complete overview of Winterfest at Canada's Wonderland and give you my recommendations to have the best visit possible and to describe everything you can do at Winterfest because there is a lot. Winterfest is honestly my new favorite time of year at Canada's Wonderland, and I know a lot of enthusiasts are going to be triggered by that but I honestly just loved it. Honestly, Canada's Wonderland spent a fortune on this event, and you can tell. It literally shows through everything they did. Everything is so beautiful. The actors are amazing. Um, everything about Winterfest is absolutely fantastic. The customized soundtracks, the customized entertainment is just your bliss. It's amazing. I loved every minute of it. The songs, the singing, the entertainment, the shows, uh, the, the literally letters to Santa. I'm a 20 something year old person and the letters to Santa was just so amazing. Um, and Santa's workshop. So pictures with Santa are absolutely fantastic. Um, the whole thing is amazing. But to start, the event either starts on Fridays at 5 p.m. or at 3 p.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. Um, and my honest advice to you is get there early. So arrive 30 minutes before then and go right to the skating rink if you want to get skating done because the line for skating gets big real quick. So if you want to do skating, do it right away, right before the lighting ceremony. And you will miss the light ceremony if you do the skating right away. Um, so it's what you prefer. Do you prefer the light ceremony or skating? Um, so I would do either that or you could do the light ceremony and then quickly run over to the skating. And I think that you'll still be able to get on or you can just book your time slot online. So if you go to Canada's Wonderland.com and pay $10, you can book and confirm your time slot um, before you arrive. And honestly, it's worth it. They have these really, really, really adorable little things that um, for kids or anyone who doesn't know how to skate perfectly that you can hold on to. They're like little reindeer and seals. Um, just absolutely cute. Um, other than that, the lighting ceremony is absolutely gorgeous. They light up the mountain with these lights that look like water flow. And then they, the lights also project um, snowflakes and stuff to match the music. And then oh, International Street with the lights is absolutely stunning. Um, the two 50 foot tall trees as well. And then Santa's sleigh with Rudolph's red nose all over front gates roof. Everything's just beautiful. The merch stores are beautiful. The gingerbread stores, the treats, the desserts, everything is just so fantastic. So outside of the lighting ceremony and the ice skating rink and the mountain being decked out, um, that alone is absolutely gorgeous. But you make a right or you go straight um, into Medfair and uh, the gates into Medfair are absolutely amazing. The entertainment option inside the castle, I heard. I didn't get to see it yesterday due to a technical difficulty, um, but I've heard it's absolutely amazing. I'm going today to check it out. Um, so you got to check out the show in the castle. Um, all the shows have time slots on the park map or the little brochure at front gate or inside of where the show takes place. Um, they have that information as well. But all the shows are worth it. The dancers and singers are absolutely amazing. I was honestly like, this is Canada's Wonderland's first year. And, you know, it's a theme park. So you don't expect Disney level entertainment. I'm promising you that Cedar Fair and Canada's Wonderland knocked it out of the park. Um, the shows, the singers and the entertainment are very Disney level. I was absolutely in love with all the shows that I saw. The soundtracks, the singing, the voices, the acting. It's all amazing. You got to go. It's definitely worth it. And to let you guys know, Wonderland dropped the price from $35 before opening um, to $21.99 online. So if you don't have a gold pass, 
Um, it's $21.99 online, which is a really good deal. Or you can buy a 2020 gold pass to um, Canada's Wonderland, and it gets you into Winterfest this year, 2019, and all of next year, spring, summer, fall, and Winterfest at Canada's Wonderland in 2020 as well. So definitely worth the price. $101 for the gold pass um, is greatly worth it. And add parking to that. Um, outside of that, um, you have cookie decorating. So for $20, you get four large cookies and you can decorate it. So a great price for families. And the cookies are very large. And uh, it's just a really fun family activity to decorate cookies. A lot of people are recommending it. Um, we didn't quite get to do it that night. We're going to do it tonight. Um, it looks absolutely amazing. And then um, the rides are open. So you have the swinging ship, Rage. You have Nightmares, the spinning ride. Um, really awesome to ride rides in the cold. And just the fact that they have those two rides already puts them ahead of any other winter festival in Toronto. But that's not just it. You get bumper cars and clockworks on top of that. And then you get most of the kids area. So Planet Snoopy and the kids rides um, are open in Planet Snoopy. So that's awesome. And uh, the event's just amazing. The lights. So Candy Cane Lane in the Planet Snoopy Bridge into Planet Snoopy is absolutely amazing. You got to check it out. It's so cute. Everything's so cute. And they have live actors throughout the park that are just absolutely into their roles. Um, and uh, it's just so awesome. The elves walking around the park were absolutely amazing. Um, the Prince and Princess of Winterfest. I don't know all their names off by heart, so correct me if I'm wrong. We're getting, we're gonna get um, used to talking to them and uh, getting their story and their name and all that. They're just amazing. Everyone's so awesome. All the employees were so friendly. Um, it's just such a magical time of year at Canada's Wonderland. Um, if you don't have the meal plan, the best food in the park is definitely at Marketplace. Um, so Marketplace is in Medfair across from the castle. They have a Christmas dinner, stuffing, turkey, breast, or leg, whatever you prefer, mashed potatoes and gravy, and fresh vegetables, steamed vegetables, and it was amazing. It was my favorite food I've ever gotten at Canada's Wonderland. Um, definitely going to be getting that, and they have dessert, amazing flavorful desserts for $3. $3 for a dessert. Absolutely amazing, Like, and it was to die for, so I got that gingerbread cheesecake that they were advertising. Loved it. Absolutely amazing. You got to try it. They have pumpkin pie that I'm going to try today as well. They have cheesecake in the market, um, in the uh, market behind Dragonfire, dipped cheesecake. So you can get like strawberry candy cane cheesecake dipped or chocolate. Uh, I heard it's really good. I didn't get to try it yesterday. I definitely want to. But yeah. And then for $12.99, you can get unlimited hot chocolates the day that you visit. And then $2 refills on any other day if you come back to Winterfest. That's worth it. We got those as well. You get a cute little souvenir cup. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think if I missed anything. There's so much to do. Um, Hicks with St. Nick, as I said earlier, like such a beautiful setting on the inside. So Santa Claus went over the top with his um, pictures with him. And it's just beautiful. Um, I will give you some advice. You're allowed to take your own photos. The pricing on the Santa Claus photos is a little steep. It's the only thing in the park that I'm going to tell you is overpriced. So that's really good for a theme park. Everyone knows that everything's usually overpriced. I'm telling you, everything at Wonderland is not overpriced. Nothing's overpriced except for your pictures with Santa. So it's $50 for um, two pictures with Santa Claus or $60 for the kit is what I think they're calling it. And you get the plastic holding for the pictures. Um, and uh, it is really nice. My sister got it. But $60 is a little pricey for pictures with Santa Claus. So we might see an adjustment on that, hopefully. But right now, that is the price. Um, but you are allowed to take your own photos, and it's free. Again, letters to Santa is free as well. And you get a response from Santa Claus if you put a return address on it. So Santa Claus will respond to your letters if you put your return address on your letter to Santa. Um, that was free and worth it. Um, ice skating, from what I understand, is $10. But I'm hearing it's free if you don't book. But again, not booking um, will most likely lead you to not getting on the ice. Um, again, you just got to go check out this event. It's absolutely amazing. Wonderland really hit it out of the park. We were not expecting this level. We knew it was going to be amazing. We knew it was going to be awesome. We've seen other parks do it in the Cedar Fair chain, but Wonderland went over the top. They have their own soundtracks, own shows compared to the other Cedar Fair parks. They have awesome live, um, you know, elves from the North Pole, which are amazing. And uh, just Santa Claus and everything about Winterfest is absolutely amazing. It's an Instagram worthy event. So you got to check it out. Bring your family, bring your friends, bring your girlfriend, bring your boyfriend, bring your partner, whoever you're 
with friends, family, partners. It's definitely one of those events that you got to check out. Anyways, hopefully I didn't miss anything. The food is amazing. Um, the Again, the events are amazing. The Sorry, not the events. The shows and entertainment and the uh, little arts and crafts, cookie decorating, picks with St. Nick, letters to Santa. All that is absolutely amazing. So definitely go check it out. It's an event well worth it. So book your tickets online at CanadasWonderland.com for $21.99 um, or get your gold pass for 2020 and get in this year and next year. Um, and arrive early, book that skating right away, book it online if you can't go right away, check out the lighting ceremony and watch all the shows and walk around the park and ride the rides. It's absolutely amazing. Eat at Marketplace in Medfair for great food. Um, nonetheless, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you go check out Winterfest and have an amazing time. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to learn about Winterfest. Have a great holiday season, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.